I asked for some pictures of your Halloween decorations and I was not disappointed. I feel like these displays get bigger and bigger every year. Uh, it just really is a part of the, the Halloween uh, tradition that I really love is driving around and going to see some of these displays. And it's really the same at Christmas, uh, both of which are uh, looking really, really great around here. This is a, a picture from uh, Waxahachie that uh, we got. And uh, here's one from Red Oak as well. And uh, we'll be seeing plenty of these tonight. And the good news is that the uh, Halloween festivities will have great weather, even though we started out with quite a bit of rain, some heavy rain out there. And uh, you can see that on the radar here. And Oh, it's okay, don't worry. I, I got a haircut and they took a little too much off the top. But you can see how much rain has been moving through our area and it's moving out and the sun is coming up behind it with a nice cool north breeze. This was early, early this morning. I've been up since 3 a.m. here uh, watching these. And I mean, if you go outside, you heard there was rain and it was warm yesterday. You go outside and it's sunny and cool. It, I mean, it'll blow your mind. So we see these showers and thunderstorms moving through. And like I said, we do have cooler air coming in behind them. We look at the highs for today, 77, uh, 76 degrees out there. Really, really nice. Still a little above normal, but really not that far off. And then 58 degrees, 59 overnight tonight. So if you are up late, you might feel a little bit of a chill there, but weather should be just fine for trick-or-treating. It may be a little bit breezy today, but I think we're going to calm those winds down uh, this evening. We're even low for the allergen forecast. You can't ask for much more than that. And when we get to the big picture, you can see the front that came through and we do have that cooler air behind it. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a big push of cold air to push this thing all the way down. It will move northward tomorrow as a warm front. So that will bring some warmer temperatures back. We won't get as warm as we have been, uh, but we will see that warmer air push eastward. We will see showers tomorrow as this thing lifts northward. And then Saturday, another disturbance comes through that will bring off and on showers and thunderstorms. I've been asked a lot about, eh, if we have outdoor plans on Saturday, what do we do? And I can't say that it's justified to cancel all those plans because it will be off and on here and there. There will be some heavy rain, but not everybody gets heavy rain, I think, on Saturday. So whether it's an event during the daytime or maybe Screams Halloween Park in the evening, don't cancel plans, just have an alternative, maybe have a plan for that. I'll be communicating with, spring, with uh, Screams as we get into the weekend as well, but uh, it doesn't look like Saturday's event is enough to just completely shut everything down should be off and on hit and miss. Now Sunday, we could see a few more showers and thunderstorms. Most of that activity will be west of us. And then another system, a stronger system comes in and that will bring a chance for severe weather on Monday. Now, this looks like a lot, don't lose your head here. We are looking at a chance of severe weather and this is the day, what is it, five now? Day four or five advisory. When you get beyond day three, you have a different scale here. So this is a 15% chance of severe weather uh, goes up to 30%. So this eventually will probably translate to a slight risk once we cross over into that three, that one to three day advisory there, of course, from the Storm Prediction Center. But this just shows that in this area, which is a pretty large area uh, here in North Central Texas, we do have a chance of some severe weather. It does look like a fairly organized chance. Now it's far enough away that modes of severe weather to expect, timing, all of those kind of details are still in flux. So stay tuned, I'll have more on that as we get closer. Your spooky cast for the Halloween festivities tonight, it looks great. Maybe just a few clouds out there, right around 64, 60, well, really it depends on when you're out there. Uh, I would say 60s for your temperatures, uh, winds of five to 10 miles per hour. So a little bit of a breeze, not much. I would say for the kiddos, if it's a really thin costume, maybe take a light jacket, nothing too crazy this evening. And then as we get into the seven day forecast, we had the rain this morning, that's clearing out for the rest of the day. Now we start warming up here because yes, that warm front is moving in. And uh, Saturday, we do have that chance of showers and thunderstorms off and on there. Sunday does look like it'll be a lower chance, but could still see some severe weather possible west of our area. And then Monday, we do have that chance of severe weather in our area. Just stay tuned. Uh, we will keep you updated on that. And then as we get into the latter end of the forecast period here, election day looks perfect. And then Wednesday, we have another chance of rain. So we're really in a very different pattern here 
we will be warming up a little bit. We'll be getting into uh, the 80 degree range, low 80s, not 90s like we've seen recently. And we have more chances of rain. So it's a big difference. We're definitely getting into more of a fall pattern here. And fall does unfortunately sometimes mean severe weather. So stay tuned to South Metro Weather and we'll bring more updates on all of this in the next few days. Thank <laughs> you.